her friend back at the tower. She used to say, Braideth, there's always room in the mind for hope. It's the crack that lets the light in. The Vex have no hope. No imagination, no drive, no fear. All they have is the pattern. Everything must fit. If it can be made to fit, good. If it can't, it gets cut away. They think this is the end of them. A path with no escape. And yet, here they are. There they were, and there they will be, and there they will have been. For them, there is no paradox. There is only the pattern. And the pattern needs the Vex to see it to completion. And so the Vex must be for the mind of the Vex. Is that faith? Welcome back, Guardians. What you just heard was Praetith speaking in the Vault of Glass from the mission The Paradox from Destiny 1. This mission is pivotal to understanding whether the Vex can ever be defeated. How do you defeat a time-traveling race that can predict its own end and undo it? Well, with the release of the Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris trailer, and after taking some detailed notes on every mission, adventure, scannable, and world quest for Io and Nessus, I believe we can work out how to beat the Vex once and for all. The artwork featured in today's video was provided by Gamma Trap and would not be possible without your support on Patreon. Patreons get access to digital versions of the artwork and other pieces like phone wallpapers. If you like to chat lore in real time, tune into my Twitch channel. I'm usually live for about 5 hours after releasing a lore video. The link is below. We are often helping people in the Leviathan raid and talking lore. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Let's start with the Destiny 1 Paradox mission. In Destiny 1, a secret ending was added to the Vault of Glass mission Paradox, and was part of the exotic questline for No Time to Explain. To activate the secret ending, you have to collect three ghost shells in the Vault of Glass. The ghost shells are narrated by Praetith, a warlock who was lost to the Vex inside the Vault and originally formed part of Kabir's fire team. The ghost shell reads, So the Vex have predicted their own annihilation. When do they believe this would happen? Can the calculations of minds the size of planets be wrong? And this. They think this is the end of them. A path with no escape. And yet, here they are. There they were, and there they will be, and there they will have been. For them, there is no paradox. There is only the pattern, and the pattern needs the Vex to see it to completion, and so the Vex must be for the mind of the Vex. Is that faith? After collecting the ghost shells and activating the secret ending, you enter the final area of the Vault of Glass. Normally, this would be where you encounter Atheon and battle him in the raid. However, now the area is dilapidated, overgrown, and filled with taken Vex. Praetor says, Welcome to the end of the Vex, their immutable future. Enslaved to a will they don't understand. A will long dead here. Dead eons ago. But then they won't end, will they? Because you're here. Immutable is put in quotation marks because immutable means unable to change. But obviously the Vex have changed it because in our timeline they still exist. The quote also hints at the importance of Guardians saying dead eons ago. But they won't end will they? Because you're here. 
Remember that we go on to destroy Oryx the Taken King. So I believe that this hints at Guardians actually preventing the Vex being destroyed by Oryx. We potentially prevented this future. I have a previous video that goes into this theory in more detail, essentially how the Vex use Guardians to destroy Oryx to save their own future. Regardless, the main point I'm trying to make about the Paradox mission ending is, Oryx had a real impact on the timeline of the Vex. Even if he was not completely successful, he was able to use the power to make Taken, which he learned from the darkness, to threaten the Vex so dramatically that they actually predicted their own annihilation. We also see this to be true in the Books of Sorrow. Oryx takes the Vex, and the Vex are unable to simulate Oryx and his true power. So, for the most part, using the powers of the darkness seems to be quite effective in stopping the Vex, or at the very least, slowing the Vex. However, in Destiny 2, Ashamir is very confident that the Vex will succeed over the Taken, and not even the power to take will stop the Vex. In the world quest on Io, you are tasked with investigating Taken activity and discover that the Taken are capturing Vex. Here is what happens. Ikora, we found holding cells, I think, like a prison for Vex. Perhaps the Taken have invented law and order. Asher, save your wit. Be mindful, though. After you clear this area of captured Vex, Ashamir would say this. Well, our guy got away again. Asher, what was it you just said? That it's suicidal for the Taken to turn the Vex into scary void robots? Completely suicidal. The Vex infect whatever they touch. Their self-replication subroutines would consume the Taken from the inside out. Perhaps they simply don't realize the dangers. Asher is completely convinced that even the Taken would be consumed and infected by the Vex. Destiny 2 really makes us question the effectiveness of the Darkness in stopping the Vex, and that the Vex have evolved to some degree since Destiny 1. It now seems that given enough time, the Vex will infect the Taken, whereas in Destiny 1, there was much more of a stalemate between Oryx and the Vex. In Destiny 1, if the Darkness, or more accurately, Taking Vex, couldn't be used to stop the Vex, what about the Light? Well, I'm sure many of you have heard the in-game dialogue that refers to how the Vex cannot simulate Guardians and the Light. Your ghost says this in the adventure Deep Conversation on Nessus. That mind said one last thing as it died. It's afraid. Afraid of your light. The one thing in this galaxy it can't simulate. Probably old news to Ikora, but I'll ping the Vanguard. Your query has terminated, Ghost. The Vax Collective hopes it has answered all of your questions. A user within the network named Osiris sends his regards. The simulations are very important. The Vex use simulations to gather data on their enemy and ultimately win, so it appears that we still have an advantage at this point in time. In addition, other Guardians have used their light to allow us to defeat the Vex. For example, Kabir, from the Vault of Glass, consumed the Vex infecting himself, and using his light made the Aegis a relic in the Vault of Glass that allows us to destroy the Templar. The relic of the Aegis Grimmel card from Destiny 1 reads, I have destroyed myself to do this. They have taken my ghost. They are in my blood and brain. But now there is hope. From my own light and from the thinking flesh of the Vex, I made a shield. The shield is your deliverance. It will break the unbreakable. It will change your fate. Kabir has likely left us with the greatest clue to defeating the Vex. To defeat the Vex, we need to combine the light, the only thing in this galaxy that the Vex do not understand and cannot simulate, with the Vex themselves. 
it seems like Osiris understands this. In the Curse of Osiris trailer, we see Osiris wearing the Sunbreaker gauntlets, which at first look, look standard. However, on closer inspection, they are the completely wrong colour. They are white, rather than golden. They are white like the Vex fluid themselves, the Radiolarian fluid. Has Osiris learnt from Kabir? To defeat the Vex, we need to introduce the Vex cells to the light. But unlike Kabir, Osiris has created a way of introducing the Vex cells in a controlled fashion, through his gauntlets. Maybe this explains his ability to control time like the Vex. During the trailer, we see Osiris clash with the Vex, whilst the fire team in the Vault of Glass is frozen. Using this information, I'm relatively convinced that we need to treat the Vex like a virus. And like a vaccination, Osiris is injecting Vex cells into his system, fusing the light with the Vex cells and granting him immunity from the time warping powers of the Vex, allowing him to infiltrate and undermine the Vex system. Here's the thing, this is extremely dangerous. Guardians like Ashamir have been exposed to Vex cells and are being consumed. Their light has not been able to save them. If you speak with Ashamir, he says this. I entered a Vex construct, the Pyramidian. Inside, I suffered an accident. My arm was transformed. It is consuming me. If I do not find a way to reverse this, I will die. It seems like Osiris knows how to merge with the Vex network and not be converted into the Vex himself. Ashamir's misfortune with losing his arm reinforces my point. Being infected with the Vex makes you part of their system. Asher says this in the IO World quest. I retract my earlier hypothesis. Something is happening to the Vex. They can all feel it. I can feel it. I can feel something grasping at my arm to rip my very essence out of my body. End this, Guardian. Asher feels what the Vex feels. If Osiris has worked out how to introduce Vex cells to his body and still remain in control, he should understand the Vex and could become a virus in their system. I believe that Asher Mia is beginning to understand this too, that to defeat the Vex, we must defeat them as a whole. We must infect their entire system, just like they're trying to do to us. In fact, in the adventure cliffhanger on Io, Ashamir has designed a virus that we introduce into the Vex Collective. Guardian, we must somehow become part of the Vex system, become a virus in their system, yet we must proceed with caution. In our efforts to become a Vex virus, we may unknowingly give more data to the Vex. We must join their system and take everything, yet give nothing. We cannot let the Vex understand us or simulate us. For if they were able to achieve this, our plans will be halted. With that being said, I have one concern. One specific EXO entered the system, Cade 6. And I fear that whilst in the system, Cade unknowingly gave crucial data to the Vex. I'm reading modern encryption here. Someone's been tampering with this access point to allow EXOs to interface with the VEX network. This conflict is specifically attuned to EXO programming. But why would the VEX have access to... Oh, it must be Cade. Did Cade accidentally give the Vex access to EXO programming, a piece of data that could be unraveled to learn more about Guardians and destroy us? <sighs> Cade. That concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Leave the word virus if you'd like to support the channel to symbolize how we need to fight the Vex infection with our own virus. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.